Hello guys and welcome to this week's studio vlog. My name is Lina and this week we are trying to relax. As you might know, the last couple of vlogs have been really stressful and I wanted to make sure that from now on I become a little bit more organized again. I was very organized last year, but sadly after I broke my leg, everything kind of slowed down a little bit because I couldn't move. It just ended up being a lot of things I had to do in a very short amount of time after my leg was officially healed. That was really hard for me, especially from January to March. There were so many things going on and it just felt so never ending. And now I just slowly want to get back, be a little bit more organized again, also just for my mental health. That's what we want to do from now on and for the next couple of vlogs as well. Try to be more organized and get things done as good as possible. I first of all want to give you guys a quick update on how my house is looking because we actually are um, managing to getting all the products that have been all around the house to go downstairs again here into my studio and also into my storage room. Then I also want to clean up a little bit. I also want to make an effort to clean my studio a tiny bit and get a few more things in place. It's still not going to be fully done for another couple of weeks I think but I'm slowly regaining some of my energy to, to finish the last bit of the renovation. Other than that, I don't have many things to say right now. I'm happy you guys are joining me again this week and following along. Let's go. Well, let's not talk about this room because it still looks like a landslide <laughs> of boxes. So this is where most of my boxes are still at the moment, all in my workroom. Our packing room is also finally looking better. As you can see, there's only a few boxes left here. Before that, uh, a couple of months ago, it was all the way up to here with boxes. So this is starting to look better too. We still have a few left over here, but um, those will be gone soon too. But our storage room still looks like a mess. There's still a lot of throw blankies here. This is a bagel one and this is the sleepy bun. This is the one that sells the best at the moment, but this is the one we have the least of. I've ordered more of this one because it already did very well in pre-orders. Uh, so I still have quite a few of it, but bagel, that's the one that's going fast. And we also got our dining room back and our kitchen. So there's no boxes here anymore, which is really nice. This has caused me so much stress in the past couple of weeks, so I'm happy that this is all gone as well. Okay, a lot of back and forth, but I think I like this better. This, um, draw is actually deep enough in theory that we could do three steps because there's so much space behind here right so this is just a little podium is that what you call it i don't know like a little thing we built on top right so it's just the draw we built this little thing on top so i could display my backs a little bit better but i think because there's so much space right you, i can still put them so far back and i can put these also still very far back. Instead of making one step, we should make two. And then I can have even more products standing here. And you're gonna be like, why would you do that? Because maybe I have some products coming very, very, very soon. But yeah, I think I like it so far. I'm happy that the plushies have space right there. The only thing I'm really sad about is my derby plushies don't fit on here. Um, it's the first Bunbun plush I made. This little guy. I'm still so sad he sold so bad. I love him, he's so cute. There's not space for him, but to be honest, um, these ones will probably move once the other things arrive and I will have to find a new space for my plushies. But what do we think? Do we like it so far? Okay, I wanna start out cleaning up this corner first. This area is the one I use the most, it's right next to my computer and there's a lot of things that are really important here that need to 
be sorted a little bit. Um, I actually did start already just a little bit. So this one is somewhat okay. It's all important things that I need to grab quickly when uh, I'm working. So for example, we have a little bit of just, what do you call this, toiletries? <laughs> so there's a deodorant and a lipstick and stuff like that. There is some pain medication like for headaches and stuff like that. And then we have other things here like my nails, which I use for product photography often. And then we also have my tagging gun here. This one doesn't belong here. But we have like a lot of stuff that I use for filming and also like a little tripod and stuff like that. So this is where all the important stuff goes so I can grab it quickly if I need it. And then as you can see, I also have some of these sorted out a little bit. This is mostly traditional art related stuff, but there's also vacuum in here. So as you can see, I need to get some of the stuff done. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, okay. What do we have here? barely anything so yeah that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna try to get all of this away so it looks a little bit nicer my small easter dinner Nom nom. Let's take a short break and then we can continue. You can see this is my Funko Pops. I have my do the skincare at night and in the morning and I have some new perfume. Honestly, I just think it looks worse. Oh, I'm trying my best, but a lot of the drawers are also just such a mess. It's a lot of my original artwork. Well, not original, but stuff I drew a couple of years ago. This is Resident Evil 2, Apex, Apex, look at all of these. I drew a lot with Copic marker back then. Look at that, it's some of my Inktober artworks as well, my god. I think that was in 2022. I tried to do fairy tales, but as horror inspired fairy tales. So this is Beauty and the Beast. This is Snow White. This is, uh, what is she called in English? Fumbelina? This Snow Queen. I also had the Little Mermaid, but I sold the original as far as I remember. Shut up, I found another stack. <laughs> oh my God. This is Plain Doll. Is it focusing? I hope it is focusing. This is Plain Doll from Bloodborne. It's also a video game. I made a lot of video game art. This one was one of these where I did cross hatching only. So this is all different types of cross hatching. It took days. The year before in 2021, I remember I wanted to draw video game characters. So I drew, drew what was it called? Bow, Bow Z? That was a meme a couple of years ago. Oh, there's so much. I don't know if anyone would be interested in a proper dedicated video about that, but holy shit. This is my artwork from 2000 and... Does it say? It's old. This one is from 2003. Amazing. Such an artist. It's my Apex Legends artwork. Uh, it was a Valentine's Day skin for Watson. Maybe I should hang a few of these. I always felt weird about hanging my own art. But man, I don't draw like this a lot anymore. I miss that sometimes. I just don't feel it goes very well with Bun Bun. That's why I don't do it. Because I think the two clash too much. Like doing the anime style and then also doing fan art on top of that. It's just nothing I feel comfortable posting. And I do have a second account still, at least on Instagram. Since I don't have time to draw a lot anime and stuff. Oh, look at this one. The original is an A3 artwork, so double the size, but I think I made prints of it. That's cute. That took forever to draw. Also, Rainbow Six. I just feel like having a second account just feels like it's useless. And it's not even about gaining followers, I guess, but it's like, it's so dead, obviously. I'm just losing followers on that. What am I gonna do with these? Okay, long rant aside, I'm actually gonna start cleaning a little bit more.
I decided to stop for now. Um, I don't have that much time anymore and I actually have some other things to do. So cleaning or more cleaning will have to wait to next week's vlog. But let me show you guys the progress. I mean, yeah, it's okay. It's not that much different than we've... No, it is, right? I don't know. It's okay. Um, but I at least managed to sort through a lot of the drawers, which is really good. We also have a really big space here where I want to put some art up later and also here. But... That's all the decoration stuff for next week. This is where my little drawing area was two weeks ago in my studio vlog. So I cleaned that up again. And then also I managed to sort through these drawers over here. So that's pretty good. Excavation point still looks bad. My little box landslide. These ones look very tilted. I hope they don't fall over. That's the update for now. Next up, we are actually gonna pack some of my Bun Bun Mystery B-grade bags. If you've seen last week's vlog, I already packed quite a few, but people went crazy in the shop update and because I'm going on my mini vacation, I have to make a few more because my mom is the one who is gonna pack all shop orders while I'm gone. So I wanna make sure that those are ready we're gonna do a few of these and then we also need to prepare some of the plushies. I have quite a few, but people are really interested in bagel, so I don't have quite enough. So we need to do that as well and prepare some of those babies. Not even sure how much I talked about this in last week's vlog, um, but my mystery B grade bags are basically. Did I talk about this? No, I don't think so. So if you're interested in one of these grab bags, they are basically mystery bags. That means that you don't know what's inside. You get like a general description of everything, but other than that, you don't know what's gonna be inside. And then B grade means that they obviously are not up to my normal standard. That would be an A grade, but they have minor flaws. I'm pretty sure I talked about that in older videos as well. It's just minor cosmetic flaws that I feel uncomfortable selling for full price. So yeah, these are heavily discounted. If you are interested in one, you can grab them at the Bun Bun shop. They cost the small version or the regular size cost 30 euros and the big version costs 60 euros. The flaws are normally, like other people who have bought them before, they normally don't care about the flaws. They are so minor that most people won't notice them. You will definitely not notice them from a distance. So it's actually a really, really good deal. So if you're interested in those, maybe check them out in the shop. And then you can get one of these little guys. See, even my new pins are in here. But obviously I can't guarantee what you get. They are all pre-packed. I don't know what I'm grabbing for. I just pack them. If somebody orders multiple ones, I can't guarantee that they aren't some duplicates in there. There won't be duplicates if you only buy one because I make sure that everything that's inside is different. But if you buy multiple ones, I can't guarantee that. I want to do for today is prepare some of the February pin club rewards. It's just the sticker rewards because the pin still hasn't arrived. I hope by the time the video is up they are already with me. It's just been taking so long this time. This is Ban Ban's travel journal for February. Ban Ban was in France. Wee oui, wee oui, wee. Oui. Here is the whole story. And this is the postcard you saw it already in last week's vlog. And then we also have 
this sticker, which I also have had for quite a while. I was just waiting for the pin, but I was like, okay, honestly, I can just send out the sticker rewards already. There's no reason that people wait even longer. I accidentally made this sticker um, glossy. Normally, they are supposed to be matte. I think it's not the end of the world. I would also not discontinue them because of that or like throw them out. It's just a glossy sticker this one time and then next time it's a matte one again. I'm actually quite unhappy with Patreon as a company. It doesn't really give you much insight. I also think the fees are insanely high and I feel like my patrons get charged more than they actually should because I can obviously see um, what kind of rewards I give out and I have a pin reward I think for like 16 and a half euros but I see that people end up paying like 18 or something so that means that they are paying fees but I will also pay fees. So Patreon is taking a cut from my patrons. They are also taking a cut from me and it makes me really unhappy. I also think the insight for the um, website itself is really bad. It was really good a couple of years ago, but I think it's gone super downhill. They took the golds away. Back in the day, Patreons, you could have golds, like if you reach a certain amount, you give people more extras and stuff. That doesn't even exist anymore. And I'm honestly, I don't know, I was quite shocked when I signed up because I hoped it would be like it was when I used it back in the day, but it isn't. I've been looking into a subscription service through Shopify directly. It cost me a little bit of money because I need to have an app installed for that, but I might actually be switching to that in the future because I'm just, I don't know, I don't like the website. It's not fun using it. I think we are done with these ones as well. This is the last one. And then we have them packed. And while I'm not the one sending them out, my mom will definitely do it. So it's good that I packed them. And with that, I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope next week's vlog is gonna be a little bit more interesting because this week's vlog was basically all filmed in one day. So I could just have a little bit of room to actually go on my vacation, but still post something. Thank you guys for being here. Hit like and subscribe or maybe leave a comment. And I hope I see you again for next week's vlog. Bye-bye.